we move on to next speaker dr pooja gule dagood i'm sorry for the pronunciation she will be speaking on orbital lymphangioma unmasking the hidden threat Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Pooja. Uh, my topic is orbital lymphangioma, unmasking the hidden threat. Introduction: Lymphangiomas are a benign tumor of venolymphatic system characterized by uh, abnormal endothelial line channels. Commonly presents in early childhood, constitutes 0.3 to 4 percent of all orbital tumors. Commonly affect head and neck region. Uh, nearly 60% followed by a proximal extremities, the buttocks and the trunk. Orbital lymphangioma may link to a non-contiguous intracranial intra vascular anomalies causing a potential bleeding. Developmental venous anomaly often symptomatic present in approximately 20% of patients with cervicofacial venous malformations. Uh, this is the case report of nine-year-old boy presented with a recurrent redness in the both eye over the past one year. Visual acuity, near vision, color vision is normal. Hartel's exophthalmometry shows uh, right eye mild axial proptosis of 2 mm. Ocular movements are free and full range. Retropulsion was positive. Auscultation, uh, no pulsation or brewy heart. Intraocular pressure was within normal range. Slit lamp examination showed mild papillary reaction in the upper palpebral conjunctiva in both eye. Fundus examination and pupillary reaction is un was unremarkable. Uh, this is the uh, CT uh, orbit uh, axial weave shows uh, evidence of ill-defined soft tissue density lesion noted in the intraconal compartment of the right orbit in the superior posterior aspect, causing a relative displacement of the right globe anteriorly. Uh, uh, inferior pictures uh, are showing uh, uh, our MRI, T T2 sagittal, uh, shows a lobulated T2 hyperintense lesion noted in the intraconal as well as extraconal space of the right orbit. Uh, uh, here is a post-contrast Steven weighted imaging showing a homogeneous enhancement and the down picture showing uh, is an MRI brain, uh, post contrast showing a abnormal linear altered signal intensity uh, noted in the right capsuloganglionic region showing a linear contrast enhancement uh, showing a medusa head appearance. With this, uh, I di we diagnosed uh, this case as a right eye orbital lymphangioma involving intraconal and uh, et extraconal space with a uh, uh, developmental venous anomaly in the right capsuloganglionic uh, region with a uh, allergic conjunctivitis. Clinical course, we managed this patient with observation. Surgery is not uh, recommended as the region is uh, non-encapsulated, not causing diminution of vision, no restriction of ocular uh, motility or cosmetic issues. The pediatrician opinion sought for a developmental venous anomaly. Allergic conjunctivitis is treated with a lotepredinol 0.5% eye drops four times daily. Uh, uh, during follow-up uh, over one year, there, were, there is uh, two episodes of acute proptosis coinciding with the upper respiratory tract infection over one year follow-up. But there is absence of significant changes warranting surgical intervention over one year. Discussion. Orbital lymphangiomas may cause a intermittent proptosis, ptosis, restricted ocular motility, and compressive optic neuropathy. The causes for intermittent proptosis are orbital uh, varices, hemangioma, lymphangioma, recurrent emphysis, recurrent ethmoiditis, peri -orbi periodic orbital edema. The intracranial vascular anomalies present in more than uh, two-thirds of patients with orbital lymphatic malformations. DVA per se are benign asymptomatic. In 13, 13 to 40 percent of cases, DVAs are associated with uh, cavernous malformations. Hemorrhages 
cases are most often attributed to a uh, DVA associated with cavernous malformation. There are syndrome uh, which will have uh, intracranial as well as intraorbital uh, vascular anomalies are Weyburn Mastin and Sturge Weber syndrome. The case can be diagnosed by a clinical examination, radiological analysis, and histopathological studies. Diagnostic specificity of radiological analysis is 77%. Uh, Treatment options are patients without threatening vision can be treated with oral uh, corticosteroids. Patient with uh, threatening vision with uh, aspiration of blood, intralational injection of sclerosin, appropriate drainage to maintain a continuous negative pressure and organized hematoma is treated with partial resection. Conclusion, orbital lymphangioma should be considered in any case of proptosis in the childhood. Uh, though the management in this case is largely conservative, timely diagnosis is of utmost importance to impart adequate knowledge about the complication associated with it to the parents. And there are red flag signs which are uh, acute painful proptosis, visual acuity changes, restriction of eye movements, liplopia, signs of exposure, keratopathy, headache, neurological deficits, and seizures. All these are explained to the parents. And close follow-up and timely re-imaging with a correct clinical decision will improve the morbidity of the disease. This case highlights the importance of individualized uh, treatment strategy for orbital lymphangioma and emphasizes the significance of vigilance even in the absence of typical clinical signs or symptoms. Thank you. Why did you present this case? Uh, it is a rare case, ma'am. It's a rare It is a case. rare case uh -huh. and, uh, and I want to tell the observation is important, important. and early diagnosis before uh, uh, intralational bleeding. Okay. And when the acute proptosis occurred, what did you do to manage the case? Uh, there, uh, uh, we checked for visual acuity, intraocular pressure, extraocular motility, all that, ma'am. Yeah, all that was normal. So there was no optic nerve uh, compression as such. So we just followed up the patient. And it went down on its own? Uh, yes, ma'am. And it ma improved on its own, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. No, because this can be potentially threatening. Also, if you get a sudden uh, we, bleed, uh, you're going to get an acute proptosis, which need, needs to be managed. It's huh. not that uh, you can sit with lymphangiomas. You have to be huh. ready to face these emergencies, right? Yes. yes. Anybody else? Questions? Thank you. Thank you.